hello everyone this is fateh luhar assistant professor department of electronics and communication at engineering college lahor the lecture is prepared for rtu syllabus antenna and propagation for sixth semester is a student in this lectures we will going to discuss smart antenna and also we will discuss the term basic concept of smart antenna concept and benefit of smart antennas fixed beam forming basis adaptive beam forming basis so first we discuss the conventional antennas okay basically a antenna system can radiate or yeah receive electromagnetic signal from the environment that is a simple conventional antenna the conventional antenna may be uh, microscopic patch antenna reflector antenna horn antenna helical antenna log periodic antenna okay so they are load up the type of the conventional antenna but smart antenna the meaning of the smart antenna means a conventional antenna have the additional circuitry to perform multiple functions such as uh, additional circuit can be switching the beam of the antenna in any directions yeah additional circuitry can increase or yeah, decrease the gain of the antenna yeah additional circuit can be change the phase of the antenna okay so a smart antenna have the additional circuitry to perform multiple tasks according the user requirement basically this the smart antenna switch or yeah functioning the multiple task according the requirement of user it automatically functioning according the user requirement okay so let's take an example let us imagine two person carrying on a conversation inside a dark room this is the example they are in this dark room there are the three persons one person is listener and other two person is speaker one person is desired speaker other person is unwanted speaker okay so the person is this listener is have to move toward the desired speaker and ignore the unwanted speaker so the listener among the two persons is capable of determining the location of the speaker as he move about the room because the voice of the speaker arrives at each acoustic sensor the ear at a different time the human processor the brain compute the direction of the speaker from the time differences or the delay of the voice received by the two ears after the brain add the strength of the signal from each ear so as to focus on the sound of the computer dial furthermore if additional speaker join in the conversations okay the brain can tune out unwanted interference and concentrate on one conversations at a time okay that means the listener only con concentrate on the conversation with only the desired persons and ignore the undesired persons at a time okay conversely the listener can respond back to the same direction of the desired speaker by 
orienting the transmitter toward the speaker okay this is the simple example to understand the smart techniques similarly we discuss the electrical small antenna system work the same way using the two antenna instead of the two ear this is the antenna one and this is antenna two same as a two ear okay and digital signal processor this is instead of the braille this is the automatically perform multiple tasks according to the user okay and therefore the after the digital signal processor measure the time delay from each antenna element it compute the direction of arrival of the signal of interest and then it adjusts the excitation okay na? is automatically adjust dsp automatically uh, adjust the uh, excitation such as the gain and phase of the signal it can be increased or decreased what is it very phase vary according to the direction of the user to produce, to produce a radiation pattern that focus on the signal of interest while ideally tuning out any signal not of the interest so this dsp and antenna system completely this is a smart system and is directly interest only desired speaker and is ignore the unwanted speaker this is a smart system techniques okay so first uh, we discuss the cellular radio system evolutions now the what is the concept of the radio system uh, cellular system and in previous year what is the concept of the radio system okay so maintaining capacity has always been a challenge as a number of the services and subscriber increases to achieve the capacity demand required by the growing number of uh, number of subscriber cellular radio system had to evolve throughout the year to justify the need for a smart antenna system in the current cellular system structure a brief history of the evolution of the cellular radio system is presented okay for more in depth detail we will discuss omnidirectional system <coughs> omnidirectional system means a base station of the radio of the cellular system the radiate the energy in all direction equally that is the omni direction systems since the day since the earlier days system designer knew that capacity was going to be problem especially when the number of the channels the frequency allotted by the fcc federal communication commissions was limited okay in earlyly the fcc allocate the limited band of the frequency to cellular companies so that time therefore to achieve the capacity required for thousand of subscriber a suitable cellular structure had had to be designed an example of the resulting structure is shown in the figure this is the okay is shaded hexagonal area in the figure number 16.2 represent a small geographical areas named the cell is cells is each hexagonal cell is a hexagonal area named as cells okay with maximum radius r the radius of r this is the cell radius r at the center of each cell reside a base stations equipped with the omnidirectional antenna okay each cell have the base station with omnidirectional antenna omnidirectional antenna means this is the omni omnidirectional antenna it radiate all direction okay with a given band of the frequency base stations in adjacent adjacent cells are assigned frequency band that contain different frequency compared to the neighboring cell 
इस इच सेल एंड नेबर सेल्स हैव द डिफरेंट फ्रीक्वेंसी बैंड्स ओके बाय लिमिटिंग द कवरेज एरिया टू विथ इन द बाउंड्रीज ऑफ द सेल द सेम बैंड ऑफ फ्रीक्वेंसी मे बी यूज टू कवर डिफरेंट सेल देट आर सेपरेट फ्रॉम वन अनदर बाय डिस्टेंस लार्ज इनफ टू कीप इंटरफ्रेंस बिलो द थ्री सोल्ड ऑफ द अदर्स to remove the so basically the abscess is provide the limited frequency band so we have the limited band but we have the uh, load of the subscriber so how to manage and provide service all the subscriber so we divide the area into number of the cells hexagonal cells in cells have the omnidirectional antenna and in cells with nearby cells have the different frequency band but also we use the frequency reuse concept frequency reuse concept means the same color of the cell the same color of the cell have the same frequency band okay because we don't use the nearby same frequency because otherwise interference may be happen so to remove the interference so we use the nearby neighbor uh, cells you can see is different so the design process of selecting the allocation same band of the frequency to different cell of the cellular base station within the system is referred to as frequency reuse this is so in the figure by repeating the shaded pattern or a cluster basically the same color of the cells represent the cluster in the first cellular radio system deploy each base station was equipped with the omnidirectional antenna with typical amplitude pattern as so in the figure because only a small percentage of total energy reach the dr region and the remaining energy was radiated in undesired location is the number of the user increases so did the interference therefore thereby reducing the capacity and immediate immediate solution to this problem was to subdivide a cell into a smaller cell this technique is referred to as cell splitting <coughs> the meaning of this basically that time use the omnidirectional antenna and omnidirectional antenna radiate equally energy to all directions so maximum energy is wasted due to the radiate in undesired directions by their direction because they are the a limited a minimum subscriber but other direction has a maximum subscriber okay suppose uh, suppose a example a uh, small cells in north side have the minimum subscriber user and in south side have the maximum but omnidirectional antenna radiate in all direction equal energy that means so in south side in north side energy maximum north energy is wasted in north side so to solve this problem that time they used the cell splitting cell cell splitting means the size of the cells means the radius of the cells is increase according the increase or decrease according the subscriber okay the cell spread is shown in the figure number a divided sub divided and congested cell into smaller cells called the microcells each with its own base station and corresponding reducing in the antenna height and transmitter power cell spreading improve capacity by decreasing the cell radius r and keeping dr ratio unchanged this is the distance between the same frequency cell same cluster so cell spreading means the cell is divided into this pattern okay microcell and this is mesocell 
my question represent the load of the number of uh, subscriber is more in this large cell is in this area that there are limited only a minimum number of the subscriber available okay now the smart antenna system smart antenna system means the sectorize the base station antenna basically this is the antenna this is the directional antenna not not a omnidirectional antenna directional antenna means this is the directional antenna in one direction this is basically this is the array system this is array repair in one direction this array repair in one direction this array in one direction and means this cover 120 this cover 120 this cover 1 total 360 angle okay and the vary power according to the user requirement okay basically if the in this side energy because user is more then it increases the power okay in mode in directions and also increase the gain pattern okay according to the user availability this Despite its benefit, cell sectoring did not provide the solution needed for the capacity in problem. Therefore, the system desire began to look into system that could dynamically sectorize a cell. Hence, they began to examine a smart system, internal system. This is the pattern represent the omnidirectional and this represent the sectoring. Basically, 120 sectoring basically is cover 120 only one side or this one direction cover the whole direction okay now we just discuss the switch beam system and adaptive array system this pattern is a switch beam system and this pattern represent additive schemes so what is the switch beam system a switch beam system is a system that can switch from one of the many predefined pattern in order to enhance the receive signal and it is obviously an extension of cell sectoring as each sector is subdivided into smaller sector as the mobile unit move throughout the cell the switch beam system detect the signal strength switch the appropriate predefined beam pattern and continuously switches the beam as necessary the overall goal of the switch beam system is to increase the gain according to the location of the user basically switching the system is automatically increase a decrease of the gain pattern or a phase according to the location of the user okay however since the beams are fixed, the intended user may not be in the center of any given main beam. If there is an interference near the center of the active beam, it may be enhanced more than desired user. Okay. Additive array system. Additive array systems provide more degree of the freedom since they have the ability to adapt in real time radiation pattern to RF signal environment. In other words, they can detect the main beam toward the file load signal or a signal of interest while the suppressing the antenna pattern in the direction of the interference or a signal not in interest to put in simply. Adaptive array system can customize an appropriate radiation pattern for each individual user. This is for superior to the performance of the switch beam system as shown in the figure. This figure so the so that not only the switch beam system may not able to place the desired signal at the maximum of the main low. Okay.